A South African professor has pioneered the first ever 3D printed ear bone transplant. This, my friends, is how we are going to cure deafness without God. Mashudu Tishifaluru, if I, I probably said his name wrong, head of the Department of Otorhinolaranjoli, that's a mouthful, at the University of Pretoria, who pioneered the first ever world's middle ear transplant using 3D printed bones. Now, that is something amazing. Um, on, this, on this other website, it's, it explains that a medical specialist from the University of Pretoria Faculty of Health Sciences has pioneered a new surgical procedure that uses 3D printed middle ear bones to treat conductive hearing loss. So this is the first ever surgery in the world where we are using 3D printed organs. In this case, the middle ear bone, right? So basically, conductive hearing loss is a problem caused by birth defects, infection, trauma, or metabolic diseases. The condition results in difficulty hearing with all sounds seeming muffled. The new treatment option for the condition could help patients around the world regain their full hearing. So far, the surgery, which can be reportedly be performed on people of any age, has already been used to treat two patients. So the professor who pioneered the technique transplanted 3D printed ear bones into a patient with an underdeveloped middle ear, replacing the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. The process essentially rebuilt the, the patient's middle ear ossicles with the help of titanium 3D printing. So the 40-year-old patient had suffered damage to his middle ear from an injury, was also treated using the 3D printed ear bones. So it took just two hours for this surgery and it was an overall success, right? So basically by replacing the ossicles that aren't performing properly, the procedure carries significantly less risk than known prosthesis and the associated surgical procedures, explained the professor. So basically what they're doing is they found a unique and innovative way to get a new ear bone replacement using titanium and it's 3D printed, so it, it's the exact shape that needs to be done. Um, it's made in a, in a machine, so you don't need to take someone else's ear bone, so you don't need a, a donor, right? You, you can actually make it from, from nothing, right? Just like, you know, we, um, some people believe that God made you know, us from nothing. I mean, now we are able to make like people's organs. Now it's just a bone, right? But still, this is impressive, right? So this breakthrough surgery also reduces the risk of facial nerve paralysis, which can happen during an ear surgery if a facial nerve that passes through the middle ear is damaged. So this is like a much more simple um, procedure compared to some of the other ones they've done. Now, the interesting thing is, like all the prayers in the world couldn't cure this 40-year-old man of his hearing problems or you know even deafness. Even if you think that, you know, making dua, praying sometimes works, like you've, we've all heard stories of people that, you know, supposedly they, they had, you know, some sort of like miracle when someone prayed for them. Um, this method is like completely 100% reliable, maybe not 100%, but the, but the procedure can be done effectively in, in most patients compared to like what are the chances of dua working for him being cured. And we all know, like it's deep down we know that prayer does nothing, but we, we still do it in order to kind of make ourselves feel better, especially for things that we think can, you know, are kind of ambiguous and we don't really understand, right? But nobody makes, nobody pray, prays for the placement limbs, you know, if your limb, if your hand was chopped off or something, nobody prays, you know, God, give me a new arm, new hands or something like that, right? And this is the difference between faith and science. Faith does not heal disease. It does not bring back limbs. It does not allow the blind to see. But glasses do. Technology does, right? Like in this video of a baby who is hearing for the first time, I'm oh, sorry, who is seeing for the first time, and there's lots of really beautiful videos like this. Um, uh, he already hates it. Christian. Christian. Open your eyes, buddy. Hi. 
and you can see the beautiful reaction on the baby when you know for the very first time he's able to see right like instead of whatever the blur he was seeing right and in this case it's it's a simple technology of glasses that we sometimes take for granted and you know it's just a it's just a little a little thing a little a little innovation that has changed the lives of millions of people glasses i use glasses too right um so you know god's perfect body of course it's not perfect it was evolved right and there's there's always a cost and benefit in all of the def in, in all of the different genetic pathways that people take right and and so some people have better eyes some people have worse eyes but this is you, you know this is something that needs to be improved right so is prayer just a placebo do all the millions of people who prayed for a cure for bad eyesight for bad hearing for a bad heart all just wasting their time maybe instead of invoking god to help them they could try mindfulness and attempt to come to peace with the suffering so people that have chronic illnesses right people that are you know depending on god as a way of you know getting getting you know past the pain and suffering and they want god to cure them right this is what i'm talking about like isn't it isn't it just better to to look at the eastern concept of mindfulness the idea that to to you know to make peace with the condition that we have right rather than you know invoking some some deity that's never going to respond right and never going to help us why not just like depend on ourselves and to to find peace in our lives right and this is where i think spirituality can help us by learning to accept a condition a lot in life and not demanding some all powerful god to change our situation or to feel sorry for what we don't have and what we want god to do for us right like even if you even if you do believe in god i mean god knows better right like he put you in the situation so how does it even make sense to ask god to change the situation that he put you in like it's like it's like almost like a sadistic you know joke that god messes up your life and then you ask him to fix the life that he intentionally put you in that bad situation for like what a bizarre like strange concept right you know think of all of the energy that's spent on faith on building churches on building mosques and temples imagine all the energy we waste on empty rituals like prayer and fasting and all of these things that we do that could have been used to improve a lot all of this energy that we think is doing good for us all of this money and spending but science has done so much more for helping the human condition than faith ever did and it doesn't demand us to believe in the unimaginable without evidence my name is abdullah samir I'm making videos on the topic of science, faith, religion, philosophy. Please keep up with my videos by subscribing to me as I continue to speak ab- against bad beliefs without falling into bigotry. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye.